CC page turn can be found under the distort category. And if I apply it to my logo here, right away I see this anchor point overlay that's offset to the right. If I click and drag it, I'm going to immediately see this effect in action. It's going to just curl up whatever you apply it to and give you this point control to adjust where you're actually peeling this off. And on my logo here that has transparency, it almost looks like a vinyl sticker being peeled off of the surface that it's applied to. And as we look at the back side, I can see straight through the logo, it's preserving that alpha channel. But if I drag out this version that has a actual background to it and a little white outline, and we apply the effect to that instead, so CC page turn again, now we can really see that that alpha channel is being preserved. But if I move it right here, you can see that by default, you can see straight through that back side into the front side. I don't know why this is the default, but to change this, we just need to go down to the back opacity value and turn that up to 100. So this controls how transparent the back of the page actually is. So I'm gonna turn that up to 100% and now I have a front and back. But that back side is just a mirror image of the front side. What if I wanted that to be something else? Well, you can choose a layer for the back side. So if I wanted it to be a different image, I could just put a layer in my comp, disable the visibility and then choose that here or if you just wanted it to be a solid color, we could change the back page to none, and then it'll take whatever the paper color is. So if I just wanted this to be a much brighter value somewhere in there, now we have a white back and the regular front. Now, let's take a look at some of these other controls. The first option is the controls value, and it's set to bottom right corner. And this is just letting you know where the page is going to turn from, so the bottom right corner. And if we take a look at the fold position, this is the value that this point control is driving. So if I just leave that there and only move it on the X, you can see that it's based on both the X and Y values. So if I move over to the right here, then it's gonna start peeling upwards. So if I move it to the bottom right corner, and then only move it on the X, it's going to basically move at a 90 degree angle that direction. If I animated from the bottom right to the top left, it's a 45 degree, or I could customize that motion to get something that's just a little bit more unique. Now we can change that from bottom right corner to bottom left, top right, top left, or go back to the classic UI before this effect had those added controls, and then we're given the ability to actually change the fold direction. So instead of automatically being driven by one of the corners, we can choose how that page is going to peel off. If I move this to a point where we can see that fold, this fold radius value is going to increase or decrease that size, basically how curled the page is as we pull it off. So if you want it really tight, you can put that at a low value, and then it's gonna look like that's really sticking to the paper and you gotta pull with a lot of force or you can make it look more like it's a book page that's just turning and has a nice big curl to it. We also have the ability to change the light direction, which is that nice highlight and shadow that we see on that curve, so we can change where that light is coming from. And we also have the ability to change the render from both the front and back to just the back or just the front. And this is useful if you need to separate the front and back for some reason, you can just duplicate the effect change one to front and one to back, and then maybe stick something between them. But that is all there is to CC Page Turn. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this tutorial, then check out the other ones here on my YouTube channel. And if you like my teaching style, then definitely check out my longer form content on Skillshare and School of Motion. And if you wanna support more tutorials like this one, check out my Patreon. You can find links for all that stuff in the description of this video. 